we ought to consider what is the future of mankind. through various successions of events, vast experience and collective memories through evolution, that is the whole process of time from the past, infinite past to the present, is called evolution. A successes, a successive events, memories, experiences, and so on. And we have arrived at that at this present stage of human evolution. And what is our future? What's not only the future of each one, which I question whether each one is separate from the mankind. But what is the few, what lies ahead of us? Do we proceed along the same path as we have been going for the last million years or more or less, slowly developing? slowly accumulating vast memories, not only in the technological world, but also in the psychological area, in the inward area, if you can so put it that way. And considering what evolution has brought us to now, and what is the successive events, experiences that lie ahead of us? We have evolved and we are almost primitive psychologically, angry, violent, innumerable illusions, dogmas, beliefs, faiths of various religions and various groups and societies and cultures, all that is inherited by us. We are all that. And there is no question about that. Nobody can argue or theoretically oppose all that. We are the result of vast successive experiences, incidents and so on. That is our consciousness. That's what we are. And from the beginning of time, we have not changed very much. Biologically we have reached a certain point and I don't think we will develop third arm or two heads or something of that kind. And When we look at ourselves and our society, the society which we have created, the divisions which we have brought about, religious, national, tribal and all the rest of it, one wonders what is the future of all human beings. 